Hi, this is Dan again from Clean Guru, and today I promised that I would share with you the story about the fish market. And the fish market story has in it a lesson, a lesson for janitorial commercial cleaning salespeople, of which I was one. So it was a lesson in there for me too, so I'll share with you this story. In this one neighborhood, there was a fish market. And it was getting to be late afternoon, kind of getting to be closing time, but a lady wandered into the fish market, into the store, and she walked up to the clerk. And the clerk said, can I help you? And she said, yes, I, do you carry this one kind of fish? And he knew he had one, so he said yes. And so he reached down and he pulled up this certain kind of fish. And she said, um, that's all right, yeah, that's the kind I'm looking for, but I don't know if I like that one exactly. Do you have any more of them? Do you have another one? Well, he didn't. He only had this one. And in fact, he knew he didn't even have any in the back. But it was getting to be late. It was getting to be closing time. And he didn't think she would know any better. So he reached down with that fish because she couldn't see behind the counter. And he pulled the same exact fish right back up again and said, well, what do you think of this one? And she looked at it. And she said a little bit. She goes, okay, yeah, that one's not bad either. She says, you know what? I'll take both of them. Well, there he was. You know, when we, when we do a white lie, when we tell a white lie, when we're not, not forthcoming to our customers, you can get caught in that kind of a white lie. It doesn't seem, didn't seem very important at the time, but it was important because this was a trust issue. Now he's going to really be embarrassed. Now he's going to really have egg on his face because he can't deliver what he said he had there. He's lied to her. Well, what does this have to do with selling janitorial contract cleaning? This never comes up, right? Well, variations of this, Ken, I can remember over the years when customers, you're getting real close maybe with a prospect to landing a job, so you don't want anything to go wrong. And they might say at the last minute, now, by the way, you do carry $2 million of general composite liability insurance, right? And you might say, yeah, yes, yeah, uh-huh. And they might say, well, do you have certification in the certain kind of green cleaning that we're looking for or the certain kind of safety training that we require? You have that, right? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, we have that. You might say quickly, a person might say quickly. And maybe they'll say, or references. They say, now, I'm sure you have, you know, five or ten references of this kind of business that we're in, references that we could take a look at, right? Y yeah, yeah, we, yeah. There you are. Then what if they say, oh, okay, great. Well, tomorrow morning, first thing, please bring, bring, please bring those out to me, excuse me. Please bring to me the uh, certifications, the references, the, uh, the, cert the certificate of the insurance that you have. If you don't have all of that right and you were just answering quickly or automatically yes, there you are and now you've really ruined your trust relationship with them. It may not have seemed like the biggest thing at the time, but it was a small indication of how much they can count on you, how much they can trust you. So I thought, I never forgot that fish market story. I thought maybe you'd enjoy it. It was a great lesson for, for me along the years and hopefully a, a good lesson for you. And if you have salespeople, you're salespeople too. Now, that's it for today. Now, next time, I want to share with you something we talk about called too few or too many. And this idea applies to a lot of things. Starting up new accounts, hiring new employees. There's lots of things that this concept of too few or too many and which way you should go. And I'll tell you how we came down on the question next time when we talk about it. And until then, always remember that you can do this. You really can.